Now, you have a child. Are you raising your child uh, not with at a all. gender pronoun? Not at all. Okay, so not at all. Gender I, neutral. I don't even know. You're doing gender neutral. I just throw food into a room <laughs> in the in the general direction. As no, I, 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 I would never do that to my kid. Making like I, well, I get into something, right? Yeah. I always get into shit, and then a year later, I don't give a fuck about it. This kid has like a developing brain. I'm gonna dump like my uh, whatever my fucking my own constitution of shit on. Like Bill Burr is known for not holding back his words. And he has become like the demolition man of everything that is woke. And one topic that gets woke people pulling their hair is gender. But is Bill going to bow down to woke parenting with all the pressure? Yeah, I gotta be honest with you. Like, I since becoming a parent, I'm still a rookie. Obviously, only a year in. There's a lot of shit that other parents say to me or stuff that they're doing that I observe it. And I just fucking, I just fade back. I understand how much they love their kid. So, they, and I'm not going to go in and fuck with whatever it is that they're doing, which is why it's so crazy that these people who've decided to do this, not that they've decided to do this hen thing, is that they're now going to fucking attack people who don't. Right, right. You're not liberal anymore. Right. You Wait, are, what are you? You then? are a fascist A fascist liberal. liberal. Yes, it is an insult to freedom and democracy to force people to bend to your will. Bill Burr's jokes hit straight at the heart of woke culture. No filters or apologies. Just straight facts spoken out in brutal honesty. How stupid is that cancel thing? They're literally running out of people to cancel. They're going after dead people now. They're trying to cancel John Wayne. It's like, yeah, dude, God did that 40 years ago. They're like, did you hear what he said in that interview in Playboy in 1970? Can you believe that? It's like, yeah, he was born in 1907. That's what these people sounded like. Cancel culture. The ultimate weapon of woke culture. Bill Burr believes it's unhealthy and counterproductive to silence people who express opposing views. Plus, it only leads to people not being able to coexist freely in a society. Fucking idiots. What kind of a fucking idiot white person refers to themselves as woke? If you, if you actually were socially conscious, you'd realize that white people stole that word from black people. Once again, doing the Elvis thing. Woke was a term used to describe awareness and activism around issues like racial and gender equality. But now, what was once about promoting awareness has now turned into something more divisive. Bill was on Joe Rogan's podcast and they spoke about it. It's no, because they're they aggressive and they're controlling and they want to run shit. And that's because that's the thing where like if you really look at their agenda, when they say the future is feminine, that's not inclusive. Let us in so we can take it over and then we'll push you down. Is, is the psychology of the kind of person that goes after that, someone that's after like power. I'm not saying the average woman is like that. My wife is a feminist and she's into like inclusive shit. A lot of that, that so-called progressive extreme left is think the way we think, say what we say, or we will fucking destroy you. While Bill Burr has made it clear that he supports many of the core principles behind liberal movements, equality, justice, and fairness, he's deeply skeptical of the way woke liberalism has evolved in recent years. Try to look at it 360. Oh yeah, and you're as much as I can, which yeah. is why I love South Park. Is everything that they do, they do it 360, mm -hmm. right? And no, it's really gotten crazy. It's gotten to the point like I've seen. I'm not gonna name names, but I've seen like you know a tweet from a fellow comic telling comics what jokes you shouldn't talk about this topic. There's already gonna be enough people doing that. You're gonna do like cannibalism now. That's not a real comic. Um, well, I wouldn't say that. They are a real comic. They, they just have an opinion I don't agree with. They can fuck off. For some reason. Woke people cannot have a different perspective from the ones in the woke agenda. Any conversation with woke people about woke stuff is always confrontational and lacking respect. To them, anyone who is not regurgitating their philosophies should be mute and canceled. You have a difference of an opinion now, and they're just gonna, you know, take your fucking job away, you know. I ran into this shit, you know, when when the Me Too stuff first started coming out, people would try to like, you know, you know, you had to tweet the right fucking thing and if and if you said anything sort of, oh, let's let's look at the evidence. God forbid you fucking said that. And it just became like this whole uh you're part of the problem. And then they would try to take you down. Bill has a problem with how woke culture has become a set of compulsory beliefs that people are expected to accept without question. It's like everyone's in their own little bubble. They just sit around and agree with each other all day. And if you even think about asking a question, they act like you've committed a crime. Taking people by the back of their fucking neck and fucking shoving their face in the shit, it, it, that you can't sustain that. No. You well, can't it sustain work. it. It doesn't. It because doesn't work. You don't get people to change by yelling at them. 
doesn't work. Or you just, bombing them. Like, what the yeah. fuck we're doing? One of the biggest problems with woke liberalism is that it often places ideological purity above conversation and understanding. Instead of engaging with different viewpoints, Burr believes that the woke movement tends to shut them down, labeling anyone who doesn't conform as the enemy. Right, listen, I'm not saying the points that they're making don't need to be made. I'm not saying that their complaints are not just, it's, it's the execution of it. Yes where it's like you're going to go through intimidation and destroying people like you have to publicly apologize it's so it's like they're it's, bullying people yes to bill burr comedy is more than just making people laugh it's about honesty truth telling and sometimes exposing uncomfortable realities good comedy is like holding up a mirror to society showing people their flaws and contradictions I gotta tell you, the way white women somehow hijack the woke movement, generals around the world should be analyzing this. Just to refresh your memory, the woke movement was supposed to be about people of color, not getting opportunities, the at-bats that they deserved, finally making that happen. And it was about that for about eight seconds. And then somehow, white women swung their Gucci booted feet over the fence of oppression and stuck themselves at the front of the line. The goals of the woke movement used to be noble, fighting for justice and equality. Bill Burr now believes that the movement has become more about controlling speech and less about promoting meaningful dialogue, and he is not wrong. It'd be like promoting a, a fucking movie, and they'd be like, so what do you think about Louis coming back? And like, I, I don't know, what do you think about it? It's yeah. terrifying. That seems to be on your mind. You kidding me? Yeah, right. right. When did you put a, st I'm trying to promote a movie. You're trying to fucking end my career here, you <laughs> asshole. <Right. laughs> I got like five lines in the movie. Because yeah, you don't care. You want the you're clip. Right. You're, you're hoping I'm going to say something stupid. That's it. So you can get a bunch of hit. Right. You're exploiting the victims, Ooh. hoping I'm going to say something stupid. Woke culture is weaponizing other people's genuine problems, which is not fair to the real victims. Bill Burr believes that this culture of outrage has gone too far and is harming free speech, particularly in the world of comedy. But it's also been fun to watch. It is fun to watch. In that all of these so-called like powerless people, when they complain, is then you then watch them abuse that power. Yep. And yep, it's yep, just yep, like, yep. oh, become the you're the person. exact same fucking thing. You're just not up there. And yep. every yeah. The woke movement did not age well. It now damages everything that people enjoy. Listen to Bill humiliating woke culture in this set that he did. That's how it's become. Fucking U.S. Everything's so goddamn heavy. Fucking joke you tell. Well, what did you mean about that? I didn't go to the gym today. Are you calling me fat? I feel fucking triggered. Do you, you know, you know, Brian Cranston, right? That dude did a movie. He played a quadriplegic and people gave him shit. <laughs> Be like, why is there an able-bodied person playing a quadriplegic? It's like, it's because it's called acting, you dumb fuck. <laughs>